Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm on my computer for the first video on my channel where I actually play on my computer. I'm going to be showing you guys the new snapshot that just came out a few hours ago. It's the Minecraft Nether update. So, I have the snapshot uh, loaded up on Minecraft. It's snapshot 20w06a. I'm excited to try it out. So, let's play. Now I'll see you guys whenever Minecraft loads. Okay guys, I'm back into Minecraft and as you can see right here, we're in the 20w06a snapshot. So we're going to go into single player. Uh we will create a new world and we'll name it 20w06a snapshot. And I guess we'll do creative, and we can create a new world. So what I've heard about this update is there is um new a lot of new stuff in the Nether. Well, obviously, and wow, this is a very cool spawn. Start in the um mesa biome or biome mesa biome. Which is pretty rare. And these things usually have like a bit of munch. But that's not what we're here for. What we are here for is the nether. So I zoom up and here's the blocks already. So it looks like there's nihilium and also nihilium. Okay, so that looks pretty cool. So we are going to build a nether portal. If I can even find. No. Okay. And we'll just take that. And then we'll grab one of these. Okay guys, so we spawned in one of the three new biomes. And this biome right here is a, uh, I believe it's a soul sand forest. Now we have stuff like this. What block is this? Basalt. So these are like pillars of basalt. That's pretty cool. And down here we have some of these like um, uh, fossils, which you can see in the overworld, but they're a lot more common here. We just have more of those. Skeletons also spawn, apparently, now. And now, what is this? Huh. So this is more pillars of this basalt, which seems pretty cool. And then we have this new crimson nylon. Uh. So that's like the new grass. Zombie pigment spawn egg. So they didn't change the name of the spawn egg yet. But here we go. Here is a crimson forest and the new hoglin, which is pretty cool. So let's get a look at him. Or I'll just spawn him, I guess. So he's like a giant pig. Doesn't have a sound getting hit, which is kind of weird. So now there's these weeping vines, which apparently grow on trees. Oh, wait. Oh, I see how these work. Those are cool. Okay, so there's also these like glow blocks, shroom light, which is a new natural light. Now let me see if I can find a uh if I can find a blue forest. That'd be pretty cool, to see. But these forests are just it looks really cool. I mean, the old nether was so dull. And wow, these chunks are so new, the lava just now loaded. Now, uh, I was just gonna say, uh, oh wow, this is a huge, huge, um, whatever this is called, fortress. So, it looks like they, they gave you a little bit of like, almost, I want to say blindness in the nether you can see like everything's a lot darker 
You can't really see as far. And I cannot find a blue forest. So most of it is this new terrain, and it looks generated a little bit differently. Now we have more another red forest. Oh, here we... Oh, whoa! Okay, so it looks like when you're in the red forest, everything is red. I mean, there's like red particles flying around. But then, whenever you get into the biome, like if I look at F3... Um, or does it say the chunk? The nether. Oh, I don't know if they've added in the names for it. Okay. So now we're in the blue one. This is a lot more pleasing. Oh. And. Wait, where? Wait, and then whenever I go back over here, it's purple. Oh, that's cool. So we have this nylium, which is pretty cool. Sounds like grass. Then we have this warp stem, which, if I go into the survival inven, uh, there's no crafting. But I'm pretty sure you can craft this into new planks and stuff. There's a lot of more flowers, so those are roots, and now apparently endermen spawn. But here's another soul sand thing. That looks like it's pretty much it for the actual biomes in the nether. Don't really see anything else. I mean, there's this fungi. Uh, I think that's it for the nether. But there's one other thing. I'm not sure if I'll be able to find the actual block. But there's this new... Apparently, there's new... Yes, here it is. Okay, so it's netherite helmet, netherite sword. Oh my goodness. 8 attack damage compared to 7. So this is a lot better. As you could probably see. This looks like diamond armor. We have plus 3 armor toughness, plus 3 armor, plus 1 knockback resistance. So we're going to take some of that. And we are going to go back into the overworld so we can test it. Uh... Overall, I think this snapshot is uh, one of the better ones because, I mean, we haven't gotten new armor. I don't think... I don't even know if we've ever gotten new armor. So, this new armor looks very cool. And it says it has knockback resistance. So that... Oh, this seems to attack a lot faster. Let me look. So if we have this sword, it does not attack any faster. So this does 7 damage. And this does 8. So that is very cool. Now if I go into game mode survive oh, game mode survival not sure if I take off one of the pieces of armor. Is this I'm not sure if it's the same as diamond actually. So let's say let's spawn in a or actually we'll make it night and then we'll if we summon a skeleton it we literally get no knockback or barely any and you can three shot it where I don't know if you can but diamond swords also take three but if we enchant this with sharpness eleven attack damage wow
So this is looking very cool. The armor itself just looks so much super cool. Oh, I get myself dropped. So the armor itself looks awesome. This sword, if you look at it as it's enchanted, it does look very cool. Now, see, this is a pretty cool looking village. I'm not sure if this is in the new update, but it does look awesome. So now that I actually see this, Okay, so what I think you need to get is this. So first you need gold ingots. And then you need this new, like, item. Soul Fire Torch. That's cool. That's not sure how you make it but it's a new thing warped button crimson button so there's two new buttons not really that big of a deal now let me try to find this new item that was added into the game this new signs Okay, so there's also new netherite tools, which we can also look at. Block of netherite. Netherite scrap, that was it. So you need... So what I think... So let's just say, I'm pretty sure that you need to... Okay, no, it's not that. So what I think you need to do is there's something that melts into netherite scrap. I don't remember what it is. Ancient debris. It's this. So in the nether you will be able to find this thing called ancient debris and it looks like this and then you have to mine it I'm not sure what tool you need to mine it but then you take this ancient debris you put it in here you get some coal and then you take the coal and, oh it's only one okay but it smelts it you will want a blast furnace because it takes a while so then you get this netherite scrap okay so now if we if we get ourselves a crafting table and we click here I think we need four so you just need four of each and then you get a netherite ingot and then from there I'm pretty sure you know what you need to do then with that you just go and make yourself so now I think actually do you it said it was used to upgrade diamond so maybe ah that's what you gotta do okay so you gotta take the piece of armor you want then you gotta take netherite ingots one of them is all you need and you get yourself netherite boots which I mean one ingot is probably the right thing because it's what it's really equal to is like four gold and four netherite scraps which is a lot and that's just to upgrade one piece of armor so you're gonna need 16 pieces of gold to upgrade all your diamond armor so I think it's a equal trade-off between the two now let's test out these new tools I'll be back. I'm going to probably fully enchant all of these tools. And then I will show you guys how good they are.
Okay, guys, I'm back. I did enchant everything that's in my inventory. So, this is the new, all the new armor. First, I'm going to test it out without enchantment. So, as you, you saw before, it, the sword was very good. Now, we can test out the shovel, which breaks decently fast. But, if we get our efficiency 5, it breaks very fast now I don't know if this is as fast as the diamond but it definitely lasts a lot longer because I don't have them breaking and usually with efficiency 5 on a shovel it just breaks instantly but this does I'm not even sure if if uh this is any slower because it is seem to be going very fast. So now that we've hit stone, we can test out the new pickaxe. This thing seems pretty fast. Now, but if we look at the efficiency version, it's also very fast. Now, I do feel like these aren't as fast as their diamond counterparts. Or they might be just as fast, but they definitely seem to last a lot longer. Next we have the netherite X. So if we do use this, it does seem very fast. Also now the efficient counterpart. Seems to be very fast. Now we take almost no knockback damage from with our armor, which is crazy. So this armor is very good for, I mean, knockback resistance. It's very good. And then we have the hoe. I mean, there's nothing really to a hoe. But now if we take off our armor, put on our protection 5 armor, Put all of this in our inventory, and then we do slash summon, I don't know, do like, say a ravager. Now, armor is really protecting us, because I'd be dead if I didn't have this armor. Oh, and I'm going to be dead anyways. That did not go as planned. That did not go as planned. So, that was the nether update. Seems pretty cool. I think I'm going to like the new uh, armor that they just put in. It's looks very good. I mean, there's no knockback on it, so it when if servers do update to the new uh, version whenever the snapshot becomes an official version then it's gonna be pretty easy for or actually it's gonna be pretty hard for people to get knocked off soul soil that's a new block what does that do so can you like plant stuff on that I don't know also this new blue fire is very cool but let's end the video off in the forest. Actually, there is blue over here. So I'll just dig. Is that all the biome was? That's the smallest biome I've ever seen. This is soil. So so soil is what that was called. This is netherwort blocks now spawn naturally. Could be pretty helpful. Oh, the top of the trees. <laughs> I'm smart. The top of the trees is nether wart block, so... I mean, I guess you don't really need nether wart anymore. If you just got this. These weeping vines look awesome. Uh, now if we just go over here, back to where that blue forest is. Because I personally like the blue forest better. 
we can end the video off with the new forest. So now we just give ourselves the new armor. And the new sword. Maybe shield, but maybe not. So now we'll just go and equip the armor. And we can probably enchant that so it looks cooler. And also, I don't know. Sharpness, five. Okay, so I'm going to end the video here, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe. I'm going to start posting a lot more now. So, if you guys subscribe, you'll get to see some of my new posts. And you will not be disappointed because... They're going to be super awesome with this new nether update. I could do a playthrough with it where as soon as I get into the nether, I rarely come out. That would be pretty cool, but I mean, there's not much food. I don't know if you can eat the mushrooms. So, I hope you guys have a great day, and I hope this informed you.